Hello, dear friends. Today, we are embarking on an exciting journey into the past, filled with nostalgia and memories. In this video, we'll dive into the atmosphere of the 70s, relive forgotten moments, and resurrect the style and trends of bygone decades. Let's reminisce about forgotten things, fashion trends, and immerse ourselves in the wonderful world where each element has its own story. Are you ready for a captivating trip down memory lane? Then let's get started together. Hustle Dance 70s is the name for several disco dances that were very popular in the 1970s. It originated from a Latin American dance that was danced in the Bronx neighborhoods of New York City. After the movie Saturday Night Fever was released in 1977, dancers from all over the country began dancing the hustle in discos, ballrooms, and at home. Hustle shares steps with mambo and salsa, and the basic steps are similar to the European disco fox dance. Modern partner hustle is sometimes called New York hustle, but its original name was Latin hustle. Hustle is a dance that requires synchronization, rhythm, and grace. It consists of various elements such as turns, transitions, dips, and spins. Dancers can dance in pairs or in groups, creating a variety of combinations and figures. Hustle is a dance that is suitable for all ages and skill levels. It can be danced to any music with a clear beat, from disco to modern pop. Hustle is a dance that reflects the spirit of the 1970s when people were looking for ways to express themselves, have fun and forget their problems. It is also part of the Latino cultural heritage that contributed to the development of American music and dance. Hustle is a dance that can be learned in a short amount of time but can provide a lot of fun and satisfaction. Roller skating 70s is the name for the phenomenon that swept America and the world in the 1970s. It was a time when people put on roller skates and went to roller rinks to skate and dance to disco music. Roller skates have been around since the 18th century, but their popularity increased in the 20th century when new types and models were introduced. In the 1970s, roller skates became an integral part of the disco culture that dominated music, fashion, and movies. Movies such as Saturday Night Fever, The Punisher, and Xanadu showed how rollerblades could be not only a means of transportation, but also a tool for dating, flirting, and romance. Rollerblading was also popular outside of roller rinks. People skated on the streets, parks, boardwalks, and beaches, enjoying the freedom and speed. Some carried boom boxes to listen to music and create an atmosphere. Roller skating became a symbol of youth, fashion, and fun. Roller skating 70s is an era that has left its mark on history and culture. It was a time when roller skating was not just a shoe, but a lifestyle. It was a time when people skated and danced, forgetting their problems and enjoying the moment. Eight track tapes is the name for magnetic tapes that were very popular from the mid-1960s through the early 1980s. They were used to record and play music in cars, at home, and on portable turntables. Eight track tapes had an advantage over other formats, such as compact tapes, because they could play continuously in an endless loop. You didn't have to take them out, flip them over, and put them back in again to listen to the entire tape. After about 80 minutes of playing, the tape would start over. There was no rewind function because of the loop. The only options the consumer had were play, fast forward, record, and change program, track. Eight track tapes were not only a technology, but a part of the culture. They allowed people to listen to their favorite music anywhere and anytime. Eight track tapes recorded the most popular artists and genres of the time, such as rock, pop, soul, disco, country, and jazz. Paper fortune tellers, popular in the 70s, were an integral part of many people's childhood. 
These simple and entertaining toys were created from a sheet of paper, painted and dyed according to the colors and numbers conjured up. At the time, they were not only an entertaining leisure activity, but also a kind of secret fortune-telling tool. Paper fortune tellers of the 70s were part of school culture and popular at recess. Kids happily shared their secret predictions, guessing their friends' futures. The colors and numbers brought elements of intrigue and magic to everyday reality. These paper toys not only revived interest in fortune telling, but also developed manual dexterity and creative thinking. They became a symbol of the carefree and joyfulness that characterized the childhood of the 70s. Today, in the world of modern gadgets, paper fortune tellers of the 70s epitomize nostalgia for simple pleasures. Their creation has become not only a way to spend time with children, but also to discover a piece of the magic and playfulness of past decades. The mid-1970s marked not only iconic musical hits and stylish hairstyles, but also a unique fashion era. One integral element of the style of that time was the knee-high tube socks. These socks, often referred to as tubes due to their length, would rise above the shins, widely embracing them. Popular among both men and women, they became a symbol of 70s fashion and free-spirited style. This trend not only reflected the style of the 70s, but also made a cultural contribution. Knee-high tube socks are associated with the ease and optimism inherent in that era. Today, they evoke nostalgia for those who want to reconnect with the style of past decades. In the 1970s, male perms were a popular and distinctive hairstyle choice that reflected the fashion trends of the era. The perm, short for permanent wave, involved treating the hair with chemicals to produce waves or curls. Male perms in the 70s were characterized by loose and flowing curls, giving men a more relaxed and carefree appearance. Icons of the 1970s, including musicians, actors, and athletes, often sported male perms. The hairstyle became synonymous with the era's rebellious and free-spirited attitudes. Popular figures like rock musicians and actors contributed to the widespread acceptance of diverse grooming styles, challenging traditional norms. The male perm trend of the 70s faded as the 1980s approached, giving way to different hairstyles. However, it remains a memorable and iconic representation of the bold experimentation with personal style that characterized the 1970s. Today, the 70s male perm has become a symbol of retro fashion, occasionally making comebacks as individuals seek to revive the nostalgic allure of this distinctive hairstyle. Hot pants and tube tops were iconic fashion trends of the 1970s, representing a bold and liberating shift in women's clothing styles. These daring and stylish garments reflected the spirit of the era, characterized by a desire for freedom and self-expression. Hot pants, extremely short shorts typically made of tight-fitting materials like denim or synthetic fabrics, gained immense popularity during the 70s. They were a symbol of women embracing their bodies and challenging traditional norms of modesty. Tube tops, on the other hand, were strapless, tight-fitting tops that covered the bust and left the midriff exposed. These tops became a staple in women's fashion, providing a glamorous and chic look. Together, hot pants and tube tops formed trendy and attention-grabbing outfits that epitomized the fashion-forward attitude of the 1970s. They were commonly worn as part of disco-inspired ensembles, reflecting the disco culture that dominated the nightlife during that period. The Citizens Band, CB, radio craze of the 1970s was a cultural phenomenon that had a significant impact on communication and popular culture during that era. CB radios became widely popular among truckers, 
motorists and individuals who wanted a means of short-range communication. The CB radio became an essential tool for truckers who used it to communicate with each other on the road. The radio provided a way to share information about road conditions, police presence, known as Smokey for highway patrol, and more. The CB radio craze inspired popular culture, including movies and music. As mentioned earlier, the song Convoy by C.W. McCall became a massive hit. Additionally, movies like Smokey and the Bandit, 1977, and TV shows like The Dukes of Hazard, late 70s to early 80s, prominently featured CB radio communication. While the CB radio craze peaked in the 1970s, CB radios continued to be used for communication on the road. Today, they are still utilized by some truckers and hobbyists, though their popularity has waned compared to the vibrant culture of the 1970s. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey into the past. Nostalgia for the 70s is not just about memories of style and fashion, but also about the unique atmosphere of that time. We hope this video brought you joy and pleasant memories. Don't forget to leave comments about your own recollections and impressions. Subscribe to the channel to not miss out on new exciting trips into the world of nostalgia. Until next time, friends.